Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to solve simple array sum problem. So in this problem we have given an array of n integers and we have to find the sum of its element. So as the input, the first line contains the integer n denoting the size of the array. So here you can see the size of the array. And the second line contains n space separated integers representing the array's element. So in the second line, you can see these are the array's element. And we have to print the sum of array's element as a single integer. So it's basically a very simple problem. We have to just sum all those integers and print the output. So here you can see the explanation. We have just adding all those elements and printing the sum. Well, let's start coding for this. So we have changed the iter. Now let me change the language. Yeah. So this is the function which you have to complete and return an integer value. An integer value will be a single integer, sum of all the elements. Let's take one variable to store the length of the end. Variable will holding the length of the array, and we have to run one for loop. because we have to traverse the array once to calculate some of its elements. Where we will store the sum, so we will have to take one variable sum plus two zero. This variable will hold the sum of all the elements one by one. So do sum plus plus two. What this line does basically, or we can write in an alternative way like this. This is the alternative way. S get store the sum plus take previous sum plus current element and add both of these and store in sum. Because we have to calculate some of all its elements, so we are just adding the sum and just storing it as a somewhere variable, and then we have to add the next element. We are just storing the prefix sum basically. This first, this will be the sum one plus error element second one. Then we will add both. It will give you a three. So next time, this will be the three plus. This is the next element. So three plus three, so it will be like six. So we are storing six inside the sum variable. Next time six plus four, so it will be ten. So we are storing ten inside this variable. Ten plus ten, ten plus current element ten, which is twenty. So we are storing twenty in this element. Twenty plus eleven, twenty plus eleven. So we are storing. 31 in this loop, some variable, and then we have to return. So basically, this for loop will run once it's run. So, some will be holding the result of all the element, sum of all the elements. So now, after that, we can ret simply return this value. That's it. Let's run this. Yeah, so task has got passed. We will try to submit our code. Yeah, so this problem is solved. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you really like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Whatever you can do, please do it. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.